From the looks of it, the spring market has arrived early. Find out what that means. Welcome back to another episode of State of the Marketplace. This is for January 2022. And the difference between January and December, what we saw is that the number of new listings has increased. That was one of our predictions that new inventory would increase. So surprisingly, buyer demand has well outpaced the uh, supply of new listings. So 13% rise in new listings and then 26% increase in buyer demand. So typically we would see that wave of buyer demand coming in the spring. Correct. And then now we just saw it in January. So um, that was an interesting thing that we saw this month. I mean, if we look at just our team alone. We have what, se we had 74 transactions or pending units already in the month of January, just in January. Yeah. So we're seeing that increase uh, just within the team. Just within the team, exactly. So let's talk about interest rates. We're seeing right now rates were in December at 3.05, and now we're at the end of January and rates are already 3.55. So what's that, the highest increase we've seen since 2020? Yeah, March of 2020, that's the highest jump we've seen in interest rates. Yeah, it's a, it's a big jump, it's a half a percent jump just in a matter of 30 days. So between inflation, Fed policy changes, and the dwindling impacts of COVID, uh, all the industry experts are saying we're going to see those interest rates continue, continue to rise. Continue to rise. I think the prediction is they're going to be up to like 4% by the end of the year, but we're already there, halfway there in January. So big moves already in 30 days. Yeah, so so the big question that we get is what is the difference between this market and the, the market that we saw in 2007? So the lead up to the 2007 market crash was a lot of speculation, um, overbuilding, and overextended credit that led to the market collapse. And not only that, rents, it was way cheaper to rent than it was to buy. In 2007, 2007. correct. Now it's the opposite. I think it's more expensive to rent Absolutely. than it is to buy right now. You know, the, the market we're seeing right now is based on scarcity, not speculation. And in 2007, everybody was speculating. I mean, when yeah, your yard, you had the buyer loans. Yeah, yeah, and your yard <laughs> guy says, hey, I'm buying and flipping houses, but he had no money. I mean, there's a problem and Wait. that's what happened. So you, you just have all these pro properties sitting out there and now we don't have it, we have a scarcity. Yeah don't have the overbuilding that we had. We have a scarcity. It's much more organic and sustainable than it was in 2007. And we have great rates. I mean, the rates, I mean, they're historically still very, very low at 3.55. So we're seeing stronger buyers and stronger loans. Harder to get those rates because they're actually verifying income assets and- They're real loans. <laughs> less, less speculation. And builders aren't allowing speculators either. You know, you see like in Vieira where you have to live there for a year before you could ever even rent it out. So not a, not a lot of speculation Same thing with in this our, market. our condo developments. The, de the developers are not looking for investors. They want to know that the people are going to buy them and be end users. Yeah. So a completely different market than 2007. So in summary, what you're seeing is sellers are going to be in control of the market. The future demand will be outpacing the supply. Right. So the other thing we're seeing with sellers is they're leaving money on the table. We're seeing agents mismanage offers all the time. So sure, any agent can put a sign on the ground and sell a house in this market. And they could sell it in a day. But there's a strategy that we that we do to get multiple offers, and that's what we're looking at. Yeah, so so it's not just selling the house. It's making sure the sellers are not leaving any money on the table. So you have to have a solid strategy with measurable analytics to show that you're maximizing the price on that, on that listing and that sale. So reach out to us if you'd like to have a strategy session to make sure that you're analyzing the data properly and not leaving any money on the table when you go to sell. Hey, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next month.